Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know you guys have all seen that trend going around that I tried Blink's makeup tutorial and I thought it would be cool to put a spin on it. I did do that and I did make the tutorials, but my camera stopped recording and I didn't notice and then the tutorial went terribly. If you guys don't want to see that, I can upload it, but the, the video just went terribly because my camera stopped recording, I had fallout, and I was trying to do my makeup for the first time with my contacts in and it just wasn't working out. So here I am again trying to redo this, but... I just straightened my hair today because I actually have an induction ceremony on Tuesday. So I was like, you know what, let's have straight hair for this. I do need a haircut. I've said this multiple times. Like, my split ends are terrible, so you don't need to tell me that. But today I thought I'd put a twist on that and do I tried following a cute girl's hairstyles hairstyle tutorial. So um, let me pull this up and then I'll get to y'all. So the video that I chose is called How to Create a Fishtail Pony. And I think this is on Brooklyn from the back. It looks like her. So we're going to go ahead and start this video. And I would say I'm pretty decent at hairstyles. I think I'm better than the average person. Like some people can't even French braid or fishtail. I can basically do all the braids. Like three strand braid, French braid, Dutch braid, fishtail. So I just, I'm wondering how hard this will be. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> back a little bit because I'm a little too close. My hair's not curled like Brooklyn's because I literally just straightened it and I try not to put too much heat on my hair. I already blow dried it and straightened it so this is enough heat for today. <laughs> so she's teasing right now. Then I just very lightly take the edge oh, of my no. comb. Wait she's not, oh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so I don't really tease my hair often. I used to all the time but I did just straighten it so it is kind of fluffy so I don't think I really need to. Tell with this mirror. 
and I can't look down, so I hope it looks good. Definitely see, we've now created this nice little puff right here. Now I'm going to take a small piece of the hair. Okay, I'm going to turn around so you guys can see the back of my head, but I have to move everything to do that. And I'm going to wrap it around the elastic and cover the elastic. Now you can use this by bobby pinning, or if you have one of these little handy dandy tools, it's just a top tail. I'm just going to thread it through the elastic before I do this. So I'm going to take the hair around and around. And like I, I don't said, do this often. Pin, if you don't have this tool, works just fine either way. She went about this far, I think. Let me look. Yeah. About as far as I want to go. Okay. Now I'm going to pancake it, texturize it, pull it really like loosen those edges up. We want it to be really big and full and pretty. This is a little more difficult to do on yourself because I don't have a mirror right now. You can see how much volume. So. Just doing that added to this side, and then I'm gonna switch. I think I'm done with that. When you have your fish tail in place, then you're just gonna secure it with an elastic. So just take this, twist it around, and keep working. Oh, my hair is getting stuck. Ugh. Okay, now the rest of the hair, we just, again, want to make sure we have some volume. You can back home a little if you want in the front pieces, but you don't have to. So this is what I have for my fish tail. I can't tell if it looks good or not. I feel like I should have done smaller pieces because I do smaller pieces. The pancaking, pan, pancaking turns out a little better, but I can't really tell like if it looks good or not because I don't have a mirror to like look at the back of my head. So I'm not happy with the fishtail. It's a little too loose for my liking. So I'm going to do it again and then I'll come back with the finished fishtail and pancakes and everything. So I finished the fishtail now. I think it looks the same honestly, but I wanted to try it again for my sanity. So now we're going to continue with the tutorial obviously. You can pull out some hairs if you want to make it softer. But basically the gist is to like just take your hands and scoop the whole hair and just let it kind of naturally fall. Okay. And you want it roughly to land about where you have your elastic. So then you're going to take another, this time like a good rubber band, not just an elastic. And it can be flat, it can be white, doesn't matter because we're going to hide it. And in securing it with an elastic, tightens the hair down. You can always just go back and just gently again to loosen things up. Again, remember we don't want it too structured or too tight. I hope it looks better with curly hair. My hair obviously isn't curled right now though. So. And then my personal favorite added touch is just taking a little piece of ribbon. I don't have ribbon, so I'm just gonna cover it up with my hair like we did earlier. Ribbon's totally popular again, super trendy, especially velvet ribbon right now. So this one's not velvet, this is just a nice little satin ribbon, but you can use a velvet ribbon, if it's especially around the holidays, it looks really great. Make a pretty little bow at the bottom, and fluff the ponytail, and you're good to go. Okay, so she has like hairs put up in the front, so that's what I'm going to do. So. Here's the little text in the front. Someone's texting me. Michaela, my sister's texting us. Oh, she's at basic for, um, for Army, I mean Air Force. So she just texted us and asked if we can talk and I just happen to be filming a tutorial. So we're gonna hurry up and end this before she calls. So this is my completed look. Here is my fishtail. Okay, so for my sanity, I just went ahead and fixed that little piece that was sticking out because I didn't notice it. But now, here is the completed fishtail braid. I kid you not, something always goes wrong when I film videos. It's 
kind of like the universe doesn't want me to. So that whole part was out of focus and I'm so sorry. I did not realize it. I even checked to make sure. Well, I didn't really check like I normally should. So now it's an autofocus, so it won't be out of focus, but I wanted to end this video when it's in focus. I did just finish it and then it's out of focus, so I just want to fix it. So here is the completed look. Let me turn around. I don't think it looks too bad. I actually haven't really seen it completely, but I think it looks decent. I did fix the um, hand that was sticking out right here because I didn't realize that, but here it is. And yeah, so it's there. I would actually probably do this again. It was really, really simple. I knew it wasn't going to be too bad because cute girls hairstyles, their hairstyles aren't ever really too hard and I'm pretty decent at hair, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Those are all in the down bar, and I also have a new handle, so if you guys did used to follow me, you noticed I have a new handle. I talked about it when I made a new one, but it's now Ashley in Tobin, my legal name. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see down below, and I will see you guys next time in on Saturday with another video. Bye, y'all.